Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance Maniac Umod. Look at Mecha. A lot of tail wagging, although they're not hey. they're not synchronized. Are they not? Wow, they're not. Wow. You gotta kill off the ones that are not synchronized. And leave the rest alive. Uh these guys are synchronized, huh? Oh, thank god. Uh, 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 uh. This guy wants to join in. He's like, I'm no wait, he's not. He's not a tiger. Maybe it's because you curse over you put your cursor over them and then it changed a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm glad we're worrying about the right details here. I know, right? It's the only interesting thing about this map. Um <laughs> Lies. See so yeah, I hope you like Lagoose. <laughs> Cause there's a fucking ton of them. <laughs> so there's like um not that many enemies initially, 64 enemies. Not that many, by by, by maniac mode standards anyway. No. I got 15 gold. <laughs> 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 but there is one thing that's kind of nice about this map. You know what that is, Mecha? Infinite use Ragnell. Well, that too, but the fact that most of these enemies are one range. Oh, yeah, that's really nice too. So you can basically use uh, good weapons instead of like javelins and hand axes. For that reason, I'm not fielding uh, Oscar and Kieran for this map. What? Get out of here. I'm, I'm going to tell you why in a minute. You know who I am fielding, though? <laughs> Khalil. <laughs> Tormod. Tormod. <laughs> Fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't know how he came back, but for whatever reason, Alinsha can't be fielded on this map. I think she's off to do something else. I don't have a healer. And there's a shit ton of status staffs in this map, so I I am not playing this without Tor mod and a restart oh, staff. Oh, you can use Restore, wow. You can use Restore. So, um, Mecha initially like asked, why don't we just solo this map with Ike? I thought that was a kind of cool idea, so I tried it, just to see how it works. It doesn't work. The reason why it doesn't work is because there is a million status staves, sleep staves, uh, all over the place. Not in any initially, but after a while, I do believe there's like at least... Yeah, this guy has a silence, this guy has a sleep, there is another sleep stuffer as well. Silence doesn't matter though. No, the thing is, Ike, even when you give him a pure water, there's a pretty good chance he'll get slept eventually. And when you get slept in Path of Radiance, your avoidance gets set to zero. And really? They, yeah, they, the yeah. so he can't dodge, so... What is this, Thracia? <laughs> I don't know, but he gets slowly chipped away. Even though he has, like, 29 defense, the Lagoose will slowly chip away at his health. He will not survive five turns with zero avoidance. Um, this is also the reason why I decided not to bring Kieran and Oscar. Ike will mostly be on the front lines. If he gets slept, I'll just restore him with Tormod. But here's the thing, Ike tanks the front lines a lot better than Tor uh, Oscar and Kieran does, and he does more damage, so he's actually better at it. Oscar and Kieran also just get slept immediately, because the bishops here have a lot of magic. So this guy, for example, he moves, he has 23 magic, he'll just move in and sleep uh, Oscar and Kieran immediately, so I... Uh, but instead now he's going after Ike, right? Yeah, but wow. Ike has more rest. A lot okay, more, a lot more. Isn't it better for them to be fielded and then take away the sleep so that Ike can do his thing? No. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. If you say so. So anyway, uh, the turn cap requirement to clear this chapter is 10 turns for 200 bonus experience. We'll see if we can do it or not. I don't know if there's reinforcements or not, but we'll do a... It's maniac mode. <laughs> Probably will be. <laughs> but we'll do a quick comparison, because this is fucking ridiculous. So we'll start here, I guess. So this is how the map looks on hard mode. Not that many enemies here. But you know what's going to happen when we do our comparison to maniac mode? They poop out enemies. Boom! All the enemies. This is how it looks on Maniac mode. Fucking insane. Um, then we'll do it here. This is how it looks on hard mode. Can you guess what will happen next, Mecha? <sighs> Find out. Number five will shock you. <laughs> <laughs> or more like, there's gonna be more enemies. Around 50 more enemies. Number 5,000 will shock you. Boom! Lots of enemies. Alright. The boss of this chapter is uh, Hedvin. And he drops the Rex Bolt, which it would be kind of cool if Kalil could use that. I think she might get it eventually, maybe? Um, it's a pretty good tome. I think the Radiant Dawn is Eliana only. That's if you train her. Yeah, he doesn't have any skills, sadly. Um, so, I gave Flare to Kalil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 15 gold and you give Flare to Kalil. Priorities. Priorities. My, gotta set my priorities straight. We got a new unit to talk about. So, what do you think about Tibarn? He flies, and he's an NPC. Yeah, he that's everything. Uh, no, I'm just joking. So because we <laughs> failed to kill the Black Knight, we get Anna. Uh, so you can see her stats are debuffed because I gave her the demi band because her gauge is slow as shit. But yeah, let's talk a little bit about Anna, shall we, Mecha? So Anna, I don't, I don't know anything about Anna. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much to say. She's like bad Nasir. 
I don't know anything about Nasir. <laughs> So Anna, she, she's the uh, one of two dragons you can get in this game. If you kill the Black Knight, you get Nasir. If you don't kill the Black Knight, you get Anna. Anna has higher growth rates than Nasir. Like, if you train her all the way up to level 20, statistically, she will have higher stats than Nasir. But you also need to give her like 10 levels, which is a lot. Uh, she can get quite a lot of experience on this map, though, because nearly all the enemies are one range, and she is also one range. And she's fairly tanky, even with the demi band, she has like 25 defense. Um, but um, yeah, she does come with some nice skills. She does have boom. Oh my god, she has Boon. I didn't even think about that. I didn't need to bring Tormund. <laughs> she cures status days uh, for people around her. So if, uh, for example, Ike gets slept, you put uh, you put Anna next to him, and uh, she cures him of his status, which is kind of nice. She also has Renewal. That's something the Seer doesn't have, and I think she has Ni Ni uh, Nihil and Miracle. Uh, uh, you can check her skills, can't you? Oh, I can check her skills. That's right. Yeah, uh, I think I think the Seer's the one that has Nihil. Yeah, yeah. Anna has uh, Renewal instead miracle. And, and Miracle. Um. So yeah, Anna, I think, like, she can damage the last boss, but she's one of the few characters that can do it for some reason, along with Nasir. So if you need a little bit of extra help fighting Ashnard, you can use Anna, but untrained, she is going to get one round with by Ashnard, I'm fairly certain. Even if you train her, she's going to need a lot of speed level ups to not get doubled. I think Berserk Ashnard has, like, 27 speed or something, so, and Anna has 60% uh, speed growth rate. So yeah, if you give her a lot of levels, it could happen. But she needs a lot of workout if you want her to be viable in the final chapter. And in the final chapter, I've heard that, like, two-range hell is very much prevalent. So she, I, don't, I doubt she's going to be super useful there. I'm still going to field her because I don't have any units. So I might as well, right? And she can cure status, which is probably going to be useful in this chapter. But, of course, on Maniac mode, they're idiots and they put fucking bolting on Sages here. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I rate Anna 2 out of 5 stars. I think, like, she can do something if you want her to, but... One range is pretty bad on Maniac mode, and with the demi band, you can see that her stats are pretty shit. You can take it off her, of course, but it'll take her forever to transform, so... What do you have to say about Anna, Mecha? Do you have anything to say? I, I don't really know a whole lot about Anna. I've never really tried to use her, because I, like, I always just train Ike, so I don't really... Uh, like, I generally kill the Black Knight. Uh, funny thing is, Nasir's stats are better than Anna's by quite a bit, because you wanted, they wanted it to be like a reward for killing the Black Knight. But I actually think if you were to make a tier list of this game, Anna is a better unit than Nasir, because if you um, if you train Ike and kill the Black Knight, then Ike can also take on Ashnard, so you don't need Nasir for anything. But if you lose to the Black Knight or you run away, then clearly you couldn't kill the Black Knight, so your Ike is maybe shit. So <laughs> then you might need Nasir or you might need Anna to kill the Ashnard. So that makes Anna a better dragon than, than Nasir. But other than that, uh, I don't think Anna is very good. Um, she seems kind of tanky, but also pretty slow. I don't know how accurate she is. One ranged hell is kind of bad for Laguz as always. I'm really used to dragons having one two range because of Radiant Dawn. It's very strange to have a breath weapon that doesn't have one two range to me. Yeah, it's like binding uh, blade up in the sus. Yeah, I don't really get it. Like, it's weird, but I, I don't think Anna will be very good. I tend to even give her one star because I don't see what she can do. But I guess the Ashnard killing thing kind of matters, so I'll say two stars. I guess she can shelf people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Boon is interesting though. Yeah, uh, Boon is nice. Now we will also talk about uh, Nasir. I'm gonna show him really quickly. So if you don't, if you kill uh, the Black Knight, you get Nasir instead. Him. Well, yeah, I have my notes in front of me. So Nasir, he's level 18 and his stats are way better than Anna's. Uh, he's a lot faster. He's got 25 speed, so he doesn't get wow. doubled by he doesn't get doubled by um, uh, Ashnard, which is really nice. His growth rates are actually pretty respectable as well. 50% in most areas, and he's got two more levels to grow, so you can give him ex some extra damage. He's also got capped strength, which is really nice and. Um, he can also damage the last boss, for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, so he's just playing out a better Anna. He's still one range though. Uh, he's still got Boon, so I don't rate him that highly. I rate him two out of five stars. Uh, if you give him Wrath, um, Wrath Resolve, I know he can like one shot Ashnard with a crit. I've seen it on YouTube. Not yeah, sure. <laughs> Leopold stock thing. Yeah, it's just kind of funny. But uh, yeah, as, as, as Mecha said, it's kind of it's kind of a bitch move that if you fail to kill the Black Knight, you get a poor unit. Uh, but I, I guess, like, as Mecha said also, if you train Anna up, she's better than Nasir. She will, on average, have, like, two to three more stats in every single area than him, but that's only if she gets somewhat lucky with her level up, so... I never said this, I just said that Anna's better because of how you recruit her. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, yeah. anyway, anyway, three out of five stars. What do you have to say about Nasir? Yeah, two out of five. The stats sound really good, though, so you would like to have him for this chapter. Maybe his utility for this chapter makes it better than Anna. I don't know. I, I've never really used either of them. I, don't, I never really bother with them. They seem okay, though. That just not great. Like I'm so late, it's just such a late turning time. Go to five. I swear to God, I my notes say he has 80 weight. That has to be a typo. 
I don't think Gareth weighs that much in Radiant Dawn. I don't think he weighs four times as much <laughs> as his granddaughter. <laughs> He's not that big. Anyway, so it's time to go. Let's go. So, uh, yeah. Honest confession, did you use the Pitfalls wiki to get his stats? No, I used Serenus Forest, actually. Oh, wow. So that animation's is... off. You know this is a Max LP. Yeah, yeah, animation's off. Yeah, I, I, when I soloed with Ike, I only fielded him, and I forgot to turn off animations. <laughs> so I had to sit through an entire enemy face of like Goose watching animations. It was really Just bad. Just set your game at that point. <laughs> Probably a good idea, yeah. But yeah, at least we get to work on the... Oh, nice one. At least we get to work on the Tor mod Devdon support now, which is nice. Work on. Just fielding them both. That's, that's all you have to do. You don't really have to put them together or anything. Yeah, work on it. Anyway, look at that. Wow, she does one round with, with the Thor on. Oh, she, she, she doesn't one round, fuck. But she could proc Flare! Which adds a little bit of extra damage, I guess. I, I keep forgetting that it doesn't heal you in this game. That's so bad. It's, it's really bad. No, I actually think... Reducing res to half is like... It barely boosts the damage by like 10 or something. It's so bad. I think the dragons... No, no, This in this case she would have dealt 12 extra damage. Yeah, okay, but she only needed 3 extra anyway. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should command the barn to do anything, actually. Uh, he might die to blizzards, but he might also be able to kill enemies. So, I don't know. I would direct him to an area where he doesn't get killed. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, oh, yeah. Mm. Should do that before moving Ike, yeah. Should I just tell him to avoid? I would target an area that he would not die in. I guess he can, like, go here and deal with the bird lagoose. Yeah, they're probably coming up to Joffrey anyway, though. And it's... Timor moves after you, right? He moves bef yeah, right before... Yeah, right after. the enemy, yeah. I don't know, I would, I would try to frontline with him, he's pretty strong. I mean, honestly, I don't think he dies. Do you get a game over if he dies? I don't think so. I thought so, but I'm not sure. I know he, like... I mean, I, I, if, if anything, he'll draw some Blizzard to use this, so I'm actually kind of fine with it. If I'm gonna be completely honest. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm gonna do with Marsha here... Um, it's really sad that I don't have the Lagoose card for this chapter, that would actually have been really useful. Oh, yeah. But I'm actually gonna try to train her a little bit in this chapter. So I'm gonna give her training. A... <laughs> She's level 16. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to. I want to cap her out. That'd be nice. Oh. But with a pure water, I very much doubt she's really gonna take much damage. Is she going to transfer anything? Um, transfer. What do you mean, like stats? Yeah. Oh yeah. She's capped skill. I think she might transfer speed. I'm not sure if the speed cap is 30 or not. It also seems like she could cap defense if she gets lucky. Yeah, she seems like close to her cap. She is actually super tanky. Um. I've only said this like 5,000 times. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, I'm gonna borrow some... I bought some pure water. <laughs> oh, that's why you're out of money. Because there's... Yeah, but there's so many fucking... Um, there's so many fucking state, like long, wrong range weapons in this map. I'm even gonna give one to Tormod. Is this the second to last chapter? This is the second to last chapter. After this... Uh, I, I was thinking we probably do like a live stream or something. Oh yeah, that's fun. Maybe get Daltra on there, if I can get him to fucking respond on Discord. Oh god, I don't think, <laughs> think Daltra doesn't want to see Maniac mode ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. It takes him for fucking ever to respond. He does. I don't think he just... Discord probably isn't in his, like, daily sign-on routine. Like, when I start my computer, I load up, like, uh, Chrome and Discord. That's my routine, but Daltra probably doesn't do that. I don't think so, no. I'm just thinking, maybe I can, uh... Maybe I can kill this guy with Anna, but... If I'm gonna do that... I'm she gonna have to shove, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, good luck shoving her. Yeah, because I don't think she's like far enough. You might yeah. just use Bastion. No, but if I'm gonna do this, I need to give her pure water. Oh, you're gonna use raisin or something? Yeah, I was thinking about using raisin. Yeah. Because mm. Anna definitely needs the resistant boost if I'm gonna do that. Do um, you think she's like useful against Ashnard for you? Because your Ike is okay. I guess not, but I mean, I might as well use her, right? Why not? Uh, I feel like if you put her on the front lines, it's going to take away fire from Mike for a little bit. But then again, a lot of enemies will also go for Marsha. Not really, because uh, they can't Kanto, right? So they'll just attack her and clog up a spice. Yeah, one of them will, like, clog her up, I guess. That sounds very wrong. Now it's going to be two, I think. <laughs> dragon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, but this is fine. I just got to make sure that uh, Raisin is protected and I should be all right. Like, keep little... in mind, the idea of this chapter is basically just that I see as much combat as possible, because his weapon is free. And he has the best offense, I think, at this point. Or close to it. Yeah. I think a lot of people will attack Ike regardless. But I also want to give experience to my other guys. Train him for the final chapter. Hey, you know, the final chapter is probably really hard. Yeah, that's why I also use Ike in the final chapter. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I guess. Oh, hi, Tabor. Hey, covering for Inna. Oh, no. Oh. oh. I damage. think... Watch out, Tabor. I think that guy deals zero damage to him. <laughs> With a steel bow. <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah. Strong Tibarn. Tibarn has a lot of fucking defense. Like, a lot of defense. Yeah. He also has the... Is it called? Like, Goose Band or something? Whatever it's called. Royal but Yeah, band. The, the one that allows him to stay transformed without stat Yeah, penalty. it's basically form shift in FP9. Yeah, I'm not sure what these guys' hit rates are against him. Pretty low. But I'm glad they're going for him. Tibarn is one of the coolest looking units in every single way. Yeah, he is amazing. I will fanboy over to Bart any time. I think this is the Thor. No, the, yeah, this is the bolting guy. I think this might be the bolting guy. Yeah, that doesn't that didn't look like meteor to me. <laughs> there you go. Well, uh, list of enemies that attacked Ike zero. I know, right? But hey, Marsha's getting EXP, which is good. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> well played. Please double. I think. Please punish. I'm not sure if he doubles. Please punish. I think it's Elfire. God fucking. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back! Uh, this time around I didn't die on turn one. <laughs> I actually died many Spectacular. times. Spectacular. You amaze me, nice. Oh, yeah. Quote, unquote, I bad. I know, I really amaze you. So, I think right now I'm gonna kill this guy with Khalil, and I'm gonna get Flare! Flare, let's go! Why do you need Flare? You don't heal. Alright. God damn it. When are we gonna play Radiant Dawn? <laughs> soon. <laughs> soon, yeah. soon DM, yeah. I, I don't know if the, I don't know if we'll manage to finish the game before F16 comes out though. No, that. <laughs> is... And by this game, I mean this enemy phase. <laughs> this enemy phase, yeah, we'll never. Oh come on, Bastion, <laughs> really? I just see a kill for Volk. <laughs> yeah, probably a good. Oh, Bastion, really? Yeah, you know what? Okay. That, this is a kill for Volk. be good. <laughs> yeah, pitfall. Come on, corrode, corrode the class. Let's go. I love how corrode can proc against Lagoose. Cut their nails. <laughs> yeah, that'd be freaking great. But hey, Volk still got some levels to gain, and I think if he wants to steal the bolting from the boss... Wait, if he... Why do you need that anyway? That would be nice, though, to get a bolting. Anyway, okay. I'm going to make sure that... I don't think there's any more birds, so there's this guy. As long as Tormod doesn't get killed, we should be alright. Just gonna stick here around here for like a, a year, kill everything? Yeah, I just want to heal Marsha. Actually, I don't really need to heal Marsha. I actually want to. Ooh, ooh, oh yes, oh yes. Oh. Very tempting, especially with the damage. Is there a way? Wait, if I kill this guy, I can reach him. Oh no, mm -hmm. there's a thicket here. I can't reach him. It also sounds like Marsha probably takes like a lot of damage there. There might be a Blizzard Mage or something that can attack her. Well, she has the full guard, so I guess she doesn't die in one hit. Per I don't say. think. I don't think it matters. She can't actually get attacked by a lot of guys here because there's thickets around her. Oh yeah, you can't attack from those, I guess. That's yeah, right. I'll just do it. Dodgy Marsha. Ooh. Ooh, that's so good. You're so lucky. You call me lucky. That also freeing up uh, uh, a slot for her to go on next turn to attack that sage and eliminate another long range drone. Unless not an enemy goes on top of it. Ooh, wow. That's so really good. good. I don't think the strength can be transferred anymore. I think her strength cap is too high. Yeah. But the strength cap is too damn high. So I, think, I think what we'll do is we'll put Ike here this turn. So he'll... Yeah, as long as you can make a good wall, that seems fine. Yeah. Remember, Tibarn moves out of the way, though. Oh, right. Especially oh, since oh. you didn't give him any orders. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. I mean, I guess Devdon can form a wall with him. Oh, yeah, I guess if you kill the warrior, then... And the cats. I got a lot birds. of units to kill, actually. And the cats, and the birds. And everyone, really. Okay, wow, there's a lot of enemies here. I didn't actually notice. And you, you saved Count Dooku, and you killed the politicians. <laughs> and you killed me, and you killed the general. Oh no, uh, let's see. I think uh, Stefan can probably... Oh wait, Stefan tanking anything? No, definitely not. Okay, I think I fucked up. Think make a wall. They're all one range. Yeah. Just, if you kill the cat, you have a wall, basically. Yeah, this like guy, the cat yeah. below death done. Oh yeah, yeah I do actually. I guess I'll kill. Oh really? Ah, oh, I got a brave lance. It's fine. You also got like five hundred units, but that's waste of brave lance, sure. You know, I like living on the edge. <laughs> it's the opposite of living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Still I can trade edge. away his uh, lance like this, and then we'll use the silver lance to kill this guy. Here we go. Then we'll place Joffrey down, I think. 
Like so? Yeah, that works. And then you have a wall, basically. Now well, we have a wall. Sort of. Now uh, the wall I is... don't have a wall anymore. Nah, so Stefan can go down. I know that's True. not much of a wall, but they can't... It's probably fine. Actually, you know what? Oh, I'm tempted to go and kill that guy. Maybe I can dance for someone who can go kill that guy? Who? Uh, who? Khalil, maybe? <laughs> who, do you, who do you want to kill? The warrior? This guy. Oh, I see. Eh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, but then, like... Who's gonna protect Raisin and Tormod and everything? I can dance for someone to do it. I see. The only problem um, is, I think these guys will probably murder Stefan. Yeah, they will. They even got crit against Stephane them. It's the wall thing, yeah. Let's keep Bastion safe. He probably dies in two hits. Bastion? Yeah. He can, he can tank these guys. Yeah, he can tank one, but he can't tank multiple. So you can't allow multiple of them to go around. I think this is fine. Yeah, this is the formation I was talking about. Alright, so I can heal someone. Uh, <laughs> might as well, right? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Make people less likely to go for Tabarn. Great idea. I mean, why not? I would heal Death Dom, but it doesn't matter too much. I can always heal him again, so it's fine. As long as I keep Tormod. Oh, wait a minute. Can that warrior attack me now? You can uh, attack Death Dom. I think you can attack. Raisin. Yeah, look at that. Huh? Look. Who's he supposed to attack then? He can attack Tormod. I need to move him back. Oh, Tormod. Yeah, Tormod's fine. There you go. I Tormod was wondering, actually, like. He actually yeah. supports both Raisin and Death Dom, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Creepy kid support. All right, what is? Oh, all right, great to barn, perfect. Just Dude, what speaking I, of creepy kid support, have you read uh, Arthur Tethys from FE8? Arthur Tethys from yeah. Arthur? FE8. Yeah. The oh, Arthur, oh, the, Arthur monk. the monk. Yeah, yeah. There's so many yeah. Arthurs in Fire Emblem. I like. Wait, yeah, I think I I try to call that one Arthur to make it clear that there's no H in there. But yeah, that Arthur. It's super fucking creepy. It's like Fate's level creepy. Arthur Tethys. Yeah. Like, why is it creepy? Um, it's basically Tethys forcing Arthur to dance and then trying to make it so that Arthur's cheek is really close to hers and that kind of stuff. It's like oh, really she, freaking weird. Oh, she's being like, like the creepy teacher. Yeah, but she's also like, maybe uh, she should call me mommy or something. And like, what the hell? <laughs> like, you, re you remind me of my childhood crush when he was 10 and that kind of stuff. It's like, oh my fuck? god. What's Camilla doing in FE8? <laughs> so I'm sorry, weird. every time I hear about that, I just think of South Park. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> Nice! <laughs> Come on, I come to report a crime, Tetris is... Nice! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because that line is like often used to describe that kind of event, but it's actually meant to make fun of people saying nice, but keep, people just keep using it, like, straight. Also, I think Anna dies to more cats. Uh, I don't know, because not, that guy, that guy, this, that guy just goes for bad, but this is bad, actually, because... I uh, think that's I guess if... Yeah. If the that, sniper goes for him, yeah. Or the Swordmaster, whatever. That's the Swordmaster. Yeah, I keep confusing them. Because I think he's injured from Marsha. <laughs> I got Tibar was like hiding in the bushes. This enemy is like, no, I'm gonna wreck you. And then Tibar is like, okay, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. You gotta move your mouth a little bit away from your microphone. Oh, I do. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I think Bastion has a chance of death here. Yeah, it's that's what I was. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, Will God. he get? I think he gets Don't double. Kill. I think he gets double. He gets double. What? Stop getting stages hell? killed. Oh my God! Does my glorious life end here? I guess it does. For Anna confirmed. Ooh. Zero void. Wow. Ow. Yeah, that's bad. <sighs> Fuck this map. I think I can just solo this map now. Fancy get sleep at max range with the pure water. Fuck like stupid. Oh yeah. Hi. <laughs> Oh, he fucking died! Wow. <laughs> Fine. I don't think anything can kill oh. from resolve. I think once it. Radiant Dawn, we're actually. <laughs> yep. Oh, hey, yep. more yep. resolve. What yep. the fuck? What fucking Dawn! What the fuck is wrong with this game? Yeah. Oh, worst. What? Well, I don't have the headphones on. I ran into yeah. one round enemies. The amount of enemies on this map. Hope that we say. <laughs> I don't know in the comment section. Mm. Oh, we're fine. He was a guy. There you go. Here. Be ruining people. Yeah, the game for the first time. Like, hard the final map is gonna. It's still one round. Yes. Oh. You're gonna make a lot of headwind here. Ah. <laughs> We're saying the entire map. It will be. <laughs> Just the oh. MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Ike. <laughs>
We could just both say Ike, I guess. I yeah. What should be like Anna? I'm gonna say Ike. All right. So yeah, that was that map. I think that was. How do you see the turn count? Like 13, 14, I think. Yeah. Something along those it's lines. Some BXP. I think the limit was like 10 or something. Yeah. So we got. Yeah, I got some experience. We'll see. Like. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can cap off Marsha with it. Ooh. That could work. That'd be good, because then we could stop wasting time and just kill everything with Ike. Alright, so yeah, Ike. Ike, Ike right. I'd like to tell you that you're MVP. Yeah, there you go. Okay. We got... Stream win. 140. Yeah, so uh, in true Manx and Mecha fashion, even though we've only like only done it once, um, we are going to be streaming the finale. I don't know if Deltra's going to be part of it yet. I sent him a message on Discord. He takes like a week to respond, so we'll see. Everyone comments on Deltra's videos. Hey, yeah, everyone go and leave comments on Deltra's next and say like, actually, yeah, this is perfect. We're gonna send an army to Deltra right now. Everyone visit Deltra's channel and posts check Discord. <laughs> Just go comment on this latest video. Say Deltra, check your inbox. Go do, post this video and go do it right now. It's gonna be super fun. Uh, so yeah, so we can get in touch with uh, Deltra and uh, schedule a stream, I guess. Let's uh, cap up Marsha. Can't fucking do it. Can't fucking do it, I guess. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, what should they do, Mecha? Go to Delta's channel and spam it. Well, aside from that. Like and subscribe. Yeah, and join us for the stream. Uh, I'll announce the date. Like, if we know the time, I will post it in the comment section and I'll post it on my Twitter and my, my Discord and everything. Just go join me on social media. And we mm. will stream the final chapter. It's gonna be the end. Fucking hell, my cock. It's gonna be lit. At last! Bye. Hope oh, you've got like six hours. Yeah.